Like I launched this and it became a number one bestseller in 10 minutes. Uh, Nana asks, what are some strategies to find a good market fit? To find what people are really looking for by developing a platform step by step, starting with uh, starting from MVP instead of developing the whole platform for a year and then starting to market it. I, yep. I guess she's asking like, where do you, where do you go? I know. Yeah, I know what she's asking. Um, and this is basically like, that's what I did like with my book, right? It's like, everyone's like, oh, how, how, how did you become? So like I launched this and it became a number one bestseller in 10 minutes, right? And like the way that I did that is by finding out exactly what it is that my market wanted, right? And like, so like, I'll, I'll give you the case that I use with my book, right? It's a, it, it's a great example. So I just went and looked at like, what are the top 100 best selling business books over the last 12 months? What are the best over the last five years in the last 10 years? And then I got some guy in the Pakistan to basically put all of the titles on those books in a spreadsheet. And then I started to look at those titles and I started to say, what did they have in, in, in common? Oh, they like 70% of the books all had how to in the sub headline. Oh, okay, cool. So my book needs to have how to, right? And then, so how to, right? How to get as many clients, customers, and sales as you can possibly handle. That's what I figured out my market wanted more than anything. They just wanted to find out how to get as many clients as they could, right? So you just give them exactly what they want. Then what I did is I came up with like five different like possible book titles. And I started running them in Facebook ads to see which one's got the highest click through rate. And then I started using them on Google ads and I started checking that out. Then I took the, the three biggest winners from that test. And then I surveyed my huge email list and I got them to actually say, and then I started doing the sub headline of the book, right? And then I started to have a look at the imagery of the best-selling books. So you don't just create like a best-selling product by guess, right? You gotta really have a look at what is already selling, what is already proven in your marketplace. Find out the best-selling products in your category, go look at their Facebook ads, buy every single one of those products, right? Go look at the reviews, go see what people are saying about it. And, you know, looking at people's reviews will tell you like how are they selling of something. If they've got lots of reviews, typically that's going to be a great selling product. Go listen to the podcast, the videos of that person and see if they talk about revenue numbers, see about they talk about products anywhere. And that will start to tell, okay, this is like, this is a winning appeal, right? And then you do, you set up a small MVP of that product right and you see how it how it works like for me i did a basic little pdf and started running a small bit of facebook ads to see what the conversion rate was for people that want it okay i got something here let me go spend a year now and go develop something i know is a proven winner right and that's that's the way that you do it hey guys if you enjoyed this video make sure that you click the like button and subscribe we're dropping a video on youtube every other day and if you've got any questions about any of the content that i covered in this video just basically leave a comment with hashtag hey subri in the comment section and every week we're also trying to go through all those questions and get them answered so go ahead click subscribe and we'll see you in the next video